Hello there, everybody. Happy Monday morning to you. I hope that you guys had a great weekend. It is a brand new slate, the start to a new week. So make this one a good one. Sometimes that making things the way we want it to be is the only way to approach life. <laughs> you know, because you, you're kind of dished into this thing every day. You've got a clean slate. So make sure that what you're putting on your slate this morning is good and positive and uplifting. I've got a couple new journals for the shop. Actually, I have several to to uh, release today so I'm going to be doing a few videos uh, and then I'll be doing process videos tomorrow but I need to get these into the shop because they need some love they've had all the love that they can soak up in my studio and now they need to be at your house soaking up your love you get it it's a good thing <laughs> Uh, the first journal that I want to show you today, and all of these journals are the regular size journals. They're $45. They are the 5x7 journals. The, they do kind of vary on the spines a little bit, but we'll talk about that. This one, I kind of love it because I love lions. Now, I am a Leo girl. Oops, sorry. But I'm just not a typical Leo. Uh, there are some attributes of Leo that um, are correct with me. Like um, I enjoy being artistic and I was musical. And I, you know, I, I, uh, they say that Leos like to be in the limelight. I never actually really liked that. But it was a necessity because I was a songwriter. Uh, you know, to perform the songs that you're writing. Um, but I just, I uh, had my star chart done by my metaphysical pal that I told you about last week. Um, and she discovered that I have a Capricorn moon. And I'm a little more Capricorn than, um, than Leo. You know, Leos can be kind of arrogant and self-serving and all that and that's just not me but I did find out that you know like Capricorns are uh, ambitious conservative but I'm not I don't really think I'm conservative uh, determined practical and helpful now ambitious determined practical and helpful kind of really does sort of fit me more than, you know, being wanting to be in the limelight or wanting to be in the center of attention. I really don't like to be the center of attention at all. Uh, this uh, journal is finished off with uh, just a smattering of, I am enjoying doing these bead strands because I'm choosing beads. I'm not really making anything match. I'm just having fun with it, y'all. So it's a combination of Czechoslovakian beads, uh, handmade rolled paper beads, um, glass beads, bone beads, metal beads, just kind of everything. And I'm really just having a lot of fun with that. On the back, coincidentally, there is uh, the face of an elephant. Um, and, you know, uh, Leo is a, is a sun sign, and coincidentally, there's the sun. So let's take a look inside. We're finishing this off with the number 16, Tim Holtz Brad. We sure do love those Brads, Tim Holtz. Thank you so much for creating those. I found a great new paper pad, and I think I showed that to you guys last week. It was just super, super cool. I did go by um, the craft store and did spend one of my $25 gift certificates. I will put an iCard up here to show that haul to you. Golly gosh, you know, I saved... 20 I finally ended up saving like $32 when I kind of checked everything out so it, it was just a great um just a good 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 uh restocking day because I do my friends go through a ton of paper 
uh, in that paper pad were, and I'll, I'll point stuff out to you guys, but you'll see that it's new paper. Tell your stories on everything that has happened to you. Don't leave anything out. It's all good stuff. And there are more papers in here. Lots of white spaces, you guys, to journal in and write on. You know, write your thoughts. Um, do some journal prompts. And, you know, they're everywhere, folks. They're, they're always online. You can find uh, journal prompts. This is some um, super cool text. It is old. It has the gold uh, edging at the top that I just I find that extraordinary. I just I really do love it. It reminds me of something very medieval. Images, of course, are a strong um, strong motivator for writing. I don't think we can see a face without thinking something about it. You know, we we see this face cradled in, in the hands of someone and we think, you know, love, peace, maybe um, not feeling well, maybe, you know, when we see the hands placed like this, to me that's energy, uh, you know, coming from your hands into a person's face and that's very close to your head and your brain and all of that. Another little card that says somewhere, somewhere I'll go, someone I'll see, something I'll do. Great journal prompts right there. This is an, a Rolodex card, you guys. So I know that a lot of people alter these Rolodex cards. I thought you might like to have one to play with. This is a big... Um, a big notebook for you you guys. I will be doing something very keen with this style notebook in the near future. I just haven't quite had the time to kind of put every my thoughts down about how we're going to use these little notebooks. But you know, it's just a, a small bound uh, fabric covered book with paper inside. And it does have a tie a tie closure on it, which is a lot of fun. To me, it adds elegance. Uh, vintage vintage greeting card. This is an excellent uh, vintage postcard from 1994, windsurfing in Corpus Christi, Texas. I uh, I love pockets, you know, I and I just took some envelopes and made pockets. These are really big envelopes, and they're very old envelopes. So occasionally you'll see me do this kind of thing with some washi tape just to cover up some of the very rough edges on these envelopes. I do want them to function as pockets, and I don't want anything to get caught in there. One of our Disney Princesses card, this is a Hallmark card, vintage. Once upon a time, you know, once upon a time is a great, great prompt. Tell your story. We have so many words to choose from. Travel, vacation, unforgettable. I put some number, sti number stickers in here for you, uh, some chipboard pieces, another piece of writing paper right here, a little stamp that has ABCs on it. I love things like that. Some inspiration, some magazine inspiration. It's summer now, and I think that we are just soaking up. Um, you know, this last full month of summer, because golly, September's around the corner. I cannot believe it's already September. Um, Hallmark card for you guys. Inside these paper bags, you will find lots of things to play with. And then usually I put... Uh, an ATC or an oversized ATC or something for you to play on. So, you know, this inside here is your stuff to play with. This is something to stick it on to. And look at that puppy dog. Uh, one of our farm dogs. We had another one that passed away um, earlier this summer. But this is a, um, the, uh, one of our farm dogs doesn't have a front leg. Um, she had to have her front leg amputated. And I had not seen her in quite some time. And we had a meeting last Monday. And I parked my truck and um, she came running. And it is just the most precious thing in the world <laughs> to see her run on her on her three feet uh, it, it was just it's just very sweet and man she was soaking up the love <laughs> she loves to be loved chocolate is always a good idea yes it is 
Uh, again, the journal card somewhere I'll go, someone I'll see, something I do. This would be a great little piece to give to someone else since there are two of them in this little book. You've got lots of tags, lots of bookmarks. Um, this is a little texture pad. And the way that I arranged these was I put a key brad in here and just did examples of texture. I think that to me, texture is it. I, I love to use texture paste in my um, in my in my notebooks. I I like the tactile feel of 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 something that stands out from the page. You know, whether it's a grainy bit or you know whether it's a piece of fabric or a piece of ribbon or something like that. I I love texture and dimension. Stamped images for you. This is a, a great little piece of a map from around the Richmond, Virginia area where I live. More places to visit. You know, where have you always wanted to visit? Is there somewhere that you want to go? Do you have a dream vacation? Now is a great time to start uh, you know, to, to think about that because it's summer, you know, we're all wanting to travel places and do things. My trip to Italy in April was amazing. If I could think of a different word, remarkable, amazing, magical, enchanting, all that good stuff. Um, and it was a dream vacation. Uh, this little card is a prompt about football terms. Ah! That's going to start next week. I love the colors in, in this spread. Uh, and this is an, uh, one of the magazine images that I'm distressing of an old church. I just think that the colors are exceptional here. Lots of fun colors for you guys to play with. Um, here we have more things for you to play with. And this is a nice big piece of card to tell your true story. Honestly, I'm not so interested in my true story. My true story is interesting. There's no doubt about that. And we'll talk about that later. But, um, you know, tell yourself a new story. Remember when we used to include the storybooks in these journals and en encourage you to write a different story, right? This journal is purple. I love this because it looks like stained glass. It's, not, it's a nice, rich, royal purple. I do love it. Finished off with glass beads, Czechoslovakian beads, some metal elements in here, as well as glass elements, some mirrored elements, and uh, hand, hand rolled paper beads. My paper beads are really getting like way down, and I've, I've got to get some time to um, to make those. I've, I enjoy it so much. Um, I always take a project down um, as we are watching Andy Griffith at 8 o'clock and try to have an hour between 8 and 9 that I can actually you know, start to pre-stage my stuff for the next day of art. And I think that that, you know, it's a kind of a start box thing, right? Make the rest of your life the best of your life. Another one of these super keen journals, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll talk more about these. I am making more of these. Um, this is going to be a project for us, and I think it will be a fun, fun project. What are you currently doing? Eating, reading, watching, making. I love things like that. I think it's very, I love prompts, you know, and I want to do more of that. I want to do uh, more writing. I'm making two new journals for personal use and I'll show you show those to you guys. Uh, one is just a over 60 journal because that's where I am now. You know, what am I going to do for the next decade? Oh, it's scary to be 60. Quite frankly, it's just terrifying, y'all. Uh, um, I've never... Hmm, I had a 10-year career as a teaching assistant in the public schools. But other than that... I have not had big blocks of employment. Um, I've done freelance work. I've done really interesting work. I've, um, but, but I haven't had like a career, right? 
Um, and I thought that that would be, you know, that's a fun thing to write about too. You know, recapitulate your 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 job, your job life. You know, <laughs> I started working when I was fourteen. Uh, there was a pharmacy in town, and um, I started working at the pharmacy when I was 14. And then I, uh, as I was graduating high school, I got a degree in radio and television from uh, a trade school in Charlotte and immediately applied to one of the uh, alternative radio stations, the very best alternative radio station in uh in my in my town and lo and behold if I did not get that job and that was kind of remarkable because I was leaving um, high school you know in the middle of the day and going to trade school and then I got a job and I graduated when I was 17 so by the time that I was 17 I was working in my field that I wanted to work in which was radio this is a super super cool uh, postcard from Florida and it's dated 1994 it's to the Hartford Hospital Department of Medicine 80 Seymour Street in Hartford Connecticut it's from Claire and Bob <laughs> I just love it I love those old cars cards and I did leave you know the I did leave the cellophane tape on them when you stop and look around this life is pretty amazing and that is quite true uh, let's see, we were talking, a uh, vintage baby card, I gotta show this to you, look at this, it's a welcome baby card, and then, uh, attached to it is a best wishes to mom and dad card, I just think that is precious, and it's signed Dot and Bert, isn't that really super cool? I, okay, so I was working at the radio station, and, um, I came in one morning, I was driving to work one morning, and I, uh, the DJ kept playing Leonard Skinner over and over and over and over, and he was kind of known for, uh, he would fall asleep, you know, sometimes, uh, or run to the bathroom and be gone for a while, but anyway... So uh, I unlock our office door, and I see that uh, he, I can see him in the studio, and he does not look well. So I kind of, um, I, I pulled the door open, and um, I said, dude, I said, you've been playing Leonard Skinner, like, you know, a lot. Are you okay? And he said, Leonard Skinner's plane went down last night, and a lot of them were killed. And I was like, oh my goodness. So, you know, what a crazy thing to be in radio at, you know, 17, might have been 18 by that time, uh, and be witness to something like that uh, in, a, in a peripheral kind of way. It was just a super sad time. It was a super sad day for the music business the music industry, music, people, you know, it was a sad day for music. These are items from a 1979 uh, Designer Homes magazine. I knew that you guys would love these 1979 images. My son was born in 1979, so I really did enjoy just, like, looking at those images. Just brought back all kinds of memories to me. Here's some, a little pocket filled with fun for you guys to play with. And a piece of paper, a piece of writing paper. These are our New Zealand papers. Ah, I'm so excited to share those with you guys. Uh, I love I love the paper pad that I got from Recollections. Epic event experience. You know, it, it just has such enriching, um, thought-provoking words in it. Uh, this is a little tag that says, Good Vibes, Tell Your Stories, Own Everything That Has Happened to You, Don't Leave Anything Out. It's all good stuff. Another text page that says, Travel, Vacation, Unforgettable. This book belongs to a stamped image right here. This is from the Napoleon Art Exhibit that's at the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. I just thought that was so super cool. Um... A vintage 
des uh, v vintage dictionary page. You guys, at some point, this 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 dictionary was um, it was bound in like a three ring binder, which. I mean, where do you see that? So I thought that was very unusual. So I left the holes so you can see where it was bound into the three ring binder. This is a nice little fold out piece. Um, more color and papers for you guys to play with right here. I will have these journals in the shop a little later on today. It is Monday. And um, I am wishing you guys a very happy Monday, a very happy week. Thank you so much for the support at the Etsy shop. You, um, you put food on my table and buy treats for my doggies. And I just appreciate you guys so much. Thanks a whole bunch. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.